Hi guys, welcome to the video. So today we're playing the sixth mission of our series campaign and as you can see it will be finally on the surface and we'll be fighting against the humans of Port Ford. Uh, so let's go straight into the game. I think we still have uh, an interlude there that we didn't see. So let's check our series here, yeah, uh, 5.5 interlude. So let's play that first and then we'll get to the sixth mission of course. So let's see what we have here. The blue stuff is ours, my lords. Well done, Rappelos. Finally, the way to the surface of the Cedars is clear. Let the forces of the fallen swarm from the underground and devour more living things. Also, let your summoners build dimensional gates so we can send you even more powerful creatures. That will help you in battle. Yeah, so we'll finally be able to unleash from the underground and also we'll be able to build dimensional gates so we can make we can get some more powerful creatures that will be sent to us uh, by the L by the ageless ones. So let's see, uh, yeah, only one enemy here, port for soldiers. And of course let's listen to the opening animation here as well. Finally, the hordes of the fallen army have risen to the surface and headed straight for the nearest fortress. Yeah, really short. We have just risen from the underground and we are heading towards the enemy fortress. So, as you can see, we have pretty decent uh, city or town from the beginning. We still have both of our heroes. Only quest to defeat enemy, uh, our enemy. And we have 280 population, which is really good. It's actually the highest number we had, I think, or maybe that was 300 or something in the last mission of the Northern Islands campaign. But uh, believe me, it will still get some more. Uh, it will still get higher in the future missions. Uh, let's actually build those dimensional gates. Probably we will probably. Want to make uh, beholders, of course, but you can also make an expansion in this mission. Uh, I will just show you around. Uh, this is the underground that we came from. Yeah, this is the entrance, so you cannot go back there. But uh, this is from where we came. Then we built the city here, but of course that was not the part of this mission. It just happened in the background, let's say. So, here are some neutral wolves that we can kill. Eh, maybe don't need to waste anything. Okay, we are actually getting some gold from them. Only 10, but it's still something. Uh, let's export the other side as well. Eh, some extra resources are always nice and if you saw the map that i'm always showing in the beginning then you know that there is a bridge in this mission it's uh, somewhere around here but it's actually uh, it has been actually destroyed so we will need to uh, go through the underground to get to our enemies and now i'm just hopefully making more Harvesters. As O'Neill gave us a short, uh, short monologue. Through which the ageless ones can send us aerials. And it's another option. We can actually teleport here with Vratimus. That's just a small shortcut, of course. So let's utilize that, and the rest of our army will continue this way. Of course, I will need to get here with my summoner to make an expansion there, but that can probably wait. I can just make an aerial here. And in the meantime, I will go there with my hero and actually clear the area. Uh, the enemy town is, of course, here. Yeah, you can see the walls and also if you saw the map, uh, you know that. And here is an expansion, as you can see, it's pretty huge. You have uh, basically two expansions here, but you can uh, get away with building just one dark fortress. So that's really effective. But I think enemy will also attack here, so be careful. Build some towers here at least. I think they will be attacking here only with eagles, which is the enemy flying unit, so... You should be able to get away with just with towers. 
Uh, probably no more enemies here, but there is the enchanted to the underground, so also enemy attacks will be coming from here. Except the eagle attacks, of course, that those will be coming from here. Yeah, because they will go here, check if you have expansion there, and then they will fly on you uh, somewhere here, above the, above the bridge. Yeah, here are some spiders that we can kill for some extra resources. Really small amounts of those resources that we are getting, but uh, it's still something. Here is some bug on the minimap, doesn't really matter. Uh, let's just explore here. And we already have the aerial, so let's go there. And also, we need uh, another summoner to actually start building the buildings that we will need. And also, let's probably make some towers to protect us. We can make some hive spitters, maybe even hive guards. Uh, there will be definitely some enemies in the underground, but I want to focus on everything at once, so it's getting a little bit harder. Uh, yeah, you can actually teleport here with Razimos, but he's not here right now since I used him uh, on the surface, so we will need to go around. And here I will just continue exploring. Uh, we are already here with our summoner. Let's make the expansion and let's wait with him. Or actually, maybe let's make a reformer that will be faster and waiting for the Dark Fortress to finish, and then I can just make lightning spiders here. Oh, actually, they are attacking me, okay. I will probably lose everything. Maybe I can use Confusion to slow them down. But they won't be attacking those knights. Only knights will be attacking themselves, but I will stop them like this. That's really good. Uh, you can actually probably just uh, let them destroy your main town and they play, then play from here. But of course tons of units will just uh, group up after some time in your town and then you will need to destroy them eventually anyways. So it's just a waste of time I would say. I don't know when the first eagle attack comes but I would rather be prepared well. Uh, also I probably messed up here a little bit. I should have more harvesters on wood and less on gold. Still too many here. Okay. Uh, but here will be the enemy attacks of eagles, so I don't really want to harvest that. There are not too many trees, but we can also maybe make an incubator here and harvest so there in our expansion I'm later. I will find so, uh, let's just make a few more hive spitters. Mm, once I get wood, I will build more buildings here. Actually, we didn't build Astral Node. Okay, I don't know. I thought that I built it and now I don't have it. Okay. My mistake, but I really didn't see that. Uh, let's start Necromancy as well. They have lots of units. Actually, where are they? They're nice. They got stuck there maybe and they won't come anymore. Oh. Okay. The attack was much sooner than I expected, and it's huge. And towers uh, def definitely weren't enough. I don't think we will be able to repel this actually. But let's try. Okay, there is another attack. Maybe I messed up a little bit. <laughs> I definitely messed up uh, when I didn't build the uh, Astral Node, but okay, we will be able to defend this just with Vrasimos, but I'm kinda missing him at my home, so it's not really good. I will rebuild the towers once I defend this, and then I will, actually maybe I will immediately return with Vrasimos, because I will need him at home. And hopefully the next attack here will be defendable just with towers. Because I will already have enough of them. Oh, attack here. Okay, they're just priests. I was just thinking that they are coming a little bit too often. Let's make some more buildings. I don't need to worry about defending myself from here because I'm just destroying eagles uh, in the expansion. Yeah, so last eagle and now I can 
just go away. Of course, the disadvantage of having just one fortress for two expansions is that uh, you are producing those harvesters there really slowly. But if I wanted, I could just make them here and then transport them there with Ariel. Ariel, but I right now don't have the resources because I need them for the lightning spires. But we can maybe also explore a little bit more here. I could also explore the other side, but I want to stay close to the river so I can immediately uh, teleport to my town when I need it. Uh, there is a mountain. Maybe you could teleport to this island and then walk there. There are some more treasures, but they are quite heavily defended by bears and uh, you probably don't want to fight it just with Rathimos. You either want to kill it from the air or some other way. Uh, let's use this bone warrior to actually send him here and know when the attack will come. So we know it a little bit sooner. Yeah, three dimensional gates will be ready. And here let's just produce some more harvesters. And let's build the towers. Yeah, so enemy attack is already coming. Uh, Rathimos is also coming, so it should be hopefully fine. This is a night attack, that's really dangerous. Yeah, but we have some towers here and everything, so it should be fine. And since the knights are faster than the rest of the army, I can kill them separately from the rest of the enemy attack, which is quite good. Yeah, it's getting really hard to harvest some food, but we can just make an incubator there, even though I would still need to make a deformer as well, because you cannot just build uh, outside of your area, fallen area. But uh, we don't need much food now, so it's fine if they walk a little bit further with those resources. And I have lots of those harvesters there, more than we need, so it's also fine because of that. Fine, so let's start harvesting, let's build more towers. And of course also upgrade them. That will be next step. I think this should be enough, but maybe it won't, I don't know. One more, okay. And more harvesters, of course. Uh, this is good, but... Uh, I mean, the mana is used only by matriarchs, so... Nothing too interesting. Uh, let's say that we will use the aerial here. Let's just make some harvesters. Like four of them. I think you can fit four of them here. And also we can immediately uh, upgrade beholders probably to max uh, level or max upgrade. Would be probably smarter to make them first and then upgrade them, but hopefully we'll have enough resources when we, when we start the harvesting here a little bit uh, more for mining. Let's actually focus on gems first, because uh, those are usually the bigger problem. And let's also upgrade those towers, as I said. Uh, let's retreat to our towers in the hometown and also make sure that... Ah, this is bad. They will kill my materials maybe, but okay, I managed to bring them back. Well, those pikemans are really nasty against high speeders because they are taking 150% damage from pike. Uh, actually... Avengers even more, 250. But if you think it's for heroes and skeletons, it should be fine. Okay, I can't even kill them with my skeleton here. But it's a few high heals. Oh, yes, okay. This should be enough. All these towers, and I can rebuild them if I need later. But yeah, this should be enough. Probably don't even need to upgrade them now. Well, let's wait for the har last harvester, and then I will transport it. 
Ah, that is the harvest. So let's getting wood in the wrong place once again. So let's bring him back. And this one is fine. It's okay. And here, keep producing. I need four here and four here. So four I will bring from my town and we'll make the rest in that expansion. Yeah, they are already ready. And we can drop them right here. So another attack. Okay. Killing the material here. So it should be fine. And soon we will be able to. Actually, we can just start now making beholders, but we don't have population. Fine, let's make summoners. Probably don't need more buildings, so we can also also control from this one. Or I will just make a new one later if I need to build something. Or remove the control from, from here, uh, from him. Uh, there is the rest of the attack. That was the part of the attack of knights. Yeah, but I mean anything else from knights just died super quickly. Yeah, but pierce damage from crossbowmen is also pretty, pretty strong. It kills those flying units extremely quickly and still pretty decent against everything else. Except of course Avengers, uh, because they take 10% from pierce, but I don't have too many of uh, Avengers. I don't know why those harvesters always come down there to harvest wood. It's pretty annoying. We have a new skeleton here. And so let's actually maybe build at least one more gate. Maybe two, you'll see. Hmm, I don't know where. Maybe here. Yeah, we will see how four goes. If we have enough resources, I can. Or actually, maybe let's just build the fifth one immediately. I think we should have enough resources. Oh, we can actually build it here. Oh, we cannot, okay. But this should be fine, actually. Only harvesters with wood are going through here, so they can just go around. Yeah, but actually those summoners are pretty expensive on wood, and I'm also spending lots of wood on those um, beholders, so I will probably need some extra wood. So let's start harvesting here as well. So we'll need a deformer, near those trees, and then we'll make a incubator there. You can also harvest here and on the right side. I don't know if there, but a little bit lower. Now there is the entrance to the underground from where the enemy is attacking. And there is one more entrance down here that you can take to get to this area, uh, where you can get some treasures. Or you can just fly there and avoid the underground, of course. <laughs> That's another option. As you can see, you should be easily able to defend yourself just with your heroes, because they are pretty powerful. So it should be no problem. Yeah, but now we actually ran out of food and also population. So I need to finally start doing something with that. I mean, they are attacking, but we should be fine. Hopefully. I just make sure they are not killing anything. I will have a ton of skeletons from this, so... Okay, another attack of knights. I mean knights have swing damage. That's pretty strong against buildings usually, or sorry, not especially strong against buildings. So I think it's okay, but uh, they have really high damage, so it's still destroying my town really quickly. Mainly those towers, this one will fall. 
I don't have too many units anymore, so I'm just getting them too slow. Yeah, but hopefully this one will stay alive. Actually, I have a lot of units, I'm just not using them. Uh, yeah. Let's make two more. Uh, I mean, those trees will fall really quickly, but at least I will have enough wood for everything. Maybe let's just one more. We have enough population. I mean, maximum population. Once I make those summoners, so we can make everything in huge amounts. Yeah, but Pierce is strong against Beholders, so I don't want to fight those crossbowmans. With beholders, uh, it was just fell immediately because of this AOE damage. I prepare the way. The upgrade is complete. I'm listening. We still managed to keep alive both of our materials from the beginning, which is really good. It's giving me lots of value thanks to those skeletons because of necromancy. Actually, materials didn't have those other two abilities in the previous mission, I think. I so now we also have curse tree and mana depletion, but probably won't really use it. Curse trees are only usable if there are trees nearby, I think. So that's not really possible here in this desert. And mana depletion is not bad, but uh, I mean, I can basically only use it on priests. I don't think he has mages in this mission, so that wouldn't, wouldn't be like too effective, I would say. Yeah, but it will also damage the priest, it will probably one-shot him, so it might not be too bad. Uh, now we kind of forgot to produce more beholders, but we just ran out of mana, as I said that it could happen in the beginning. Maybe yeah, we can try to get some of those resources on that island, or not island, but part of a map where you cannot get with anything else. Uh, let's leave this one behind so he can fully heal. Unholy regeneration. Let's also make sure we have all the population we need. At least summoners don't cost uh, any gems. The light is our enemy. And let's just continue here. Uh, I will eventually need to come here with uh, some yeah, ground units to pick up the items, but that should be also no problem. Here is one medicine plant to fully heal any unit. Let's just blink Ariel there. So I don't need to go there with Vratimos. Or you can also get there, uh, get here with uh, through the underground, but that's really a long path. So we'll leave that for later. We have some free resources here from the White Wolf. So this was really easy and quick. And maybe there is something down here, I don't know, maybe like a potion. Or dust, I would expect something like that. There is actually a great ring of health. Oh, actually, there are ranged units. Those can actually attack me, so I need to kill them quickly. Those are just standing around the exit or entrance, so those would attack you if you came here through the underground. Uh, another attack of knights, but now I'm prepared with beholders. Yeah, maybe some units will die here, but... Actually, they destroyed the tower, okay. I was not really expecting that, but fine. Now let's bring beholders back once again, make new ones. Heavy. Yeah, lost towers, but it should be fine. Light is our enemy. Summon some new units, and we don't need anything else. And here are the bears that I was talking about in the beginning, and they are protecting an extra life item, so that's also good to get. But of course, destroying this uh, with ground units would be uh, really insane. So. Just with the builders and we will have a really easy time. Uh, let's not waste any more harvesters here. Uh, okay, this is getting quite intense, but we can just bring more beholders. Uh, 
Hey, probably don't need to any abilities with me alive here. As I said, you can easily defend just with your heroes, but if you have something else, just use it as well. Uh, kind of forgot about the upgrades in Astral Node, but we still have lots of population to f fill, so definitely enough time to upgrade everything before we decide to attack. Uh, I don't know if I killed all the bears or if they just ran away. Let me check it. Uh, I'm not sure if one full uh, one attack of full population of beholders will be enough to uh, actually defeat our enemies, but uh, we'll have to try, of course. Uh, there is already an enemy town, but I think he also has some towers or even crossbowmen here on this side, so I don't think we can really get there. But maybe here in the back, yeah, he has some he has some eagles there. He's preparing an eagle attack there, so also not the best place to attack from. Uh, so we'll just go here and pick up those three items that are here. And outside of that I don't think there is anything else we really need to worry about. So let's keep exploring, of course. Exploring with 11 beholders is maybe not the best thing to do, but uh, I at least upgraded the movement speed buff in Oculus, so they are moving decently quick enough. Oh, there is a spider that I didn't kill before, okay. Hopefully I can kill him with harvesters. Unfortunately I didn't upgrade the grasp, uh, grasp research. But maybe you cannot even use it on spiders. So it doesn't really matter if you are able to win. Uh, this is simple. Oh, actually we will run out of resources here. I didn't expect that. In this mission you actually have uh, early uh, low amount of resources. So we really need to keep that in mind. I mean we will run out of gold, yeah. Gems is still enough here. And we have lots of gold saved up. But uh, it's still something to keep in mind. Oh, there is a tower. Really annoying and powerful against uh, beholders. Yeah, so by making beholders you will avoid lots of enemy units because they will just not be able, they will be melee units, so they won't be able to attack you. But also you will face the power of the pierce damage because they have lots of crossbowmen and towers and both of those things have pierce damage which is, uh, which is bonus against beholders. So it's something to keep in mind definitely. Uh, so this should be hopefully enough. Now let's explore the rest of the map. And I think you can actually enter the underground with flying units in this map, so you can easily clear the underground as well. Uh, there is a white wolf, probably some extra resources I would expect, yeah, 100 gold. Another one actually. I should have cleared it with Ratimos in the beginning. I mean, I met the spiders on the other side that were giving like five resources from each or something. So I thought that this would be also not really valuable. But actually, here there are much more, uh, many more really valuable resources that you can get. Let's go with Ratimo to the front so he takes the damage and to them with the holders. Maybe there will be more spiders, but I can just go clear them with the beholders if I need to or want to. Uh, this is really flat space, nothing really interesting here, but we'll be playing the next mission here. Yeah, once again, if you look at the map, you will see that uh, this is exactly where you go in the next mission, and I think the base will be somewhere around here. So this flat space will be used very well. Power okay, we run out of population again. Oh, there is actually a silver leaf that we can take with ground unit. For example, harvester. Uh, that will actually instantly restore your whole mana bar. 
so that's really good for heroes. Of course, you can use it on Matriarch or something to get more skeletons, but usually it's used on heroes. And maybe we have some more upgrades here, as we do. So let's get them. And I just need a few more gems from the sec for the second upgrade as well. And actually 280 is maximum, if I remember correctly, so... Yeah, we cannot get many more units. That is actually small water, okay. Once again, something you could see on the map, but I don't remember it exactly, so... This surprised me a little bit. Maybe it actually goes around the town, the or not all the way around, but maybe on this side, or where there are some trees, so probably not. It will end somewhere bef in front of the town, yeah, somewhere around here. There is a small shore. Actually, he's uh, harvesting wood here. Well, let's get rid of him. Okay, it actually <laughs> pulled enemy crossbowmen here, I was not expecting that. They wanted revenge, but I just flew away. Uh, yeah, we cannot get more population, so it's kinda pointless to try anything more. Uh, another attack should be pretty easy. Let's just bring more beholders here. Let's also make a few more beholders. Hmm, there is already enemy wall with towers, so definitely don't want to go there. And this is the last part that we didn't explore yet. I mean, it would be nice to bring my units with me to the attack, but I don't know if that will be that will be actually possible. Uh, let's clear the underground first, actually. Uh, there is nothing in the top part of the map in the underground, so. Let's just go uh, this way, above the way that you would actually take if you were walking on the ground. And there are a lot of treasures, so... We definitely want to take that. Uh, let me actually get one Matriarch and... Uh, where is it? Yeah, here it is. The Aerial and I will go pick up those items that I didn't pick up yet here. I don't want to take the damage with the holders. Uh, eagle attack, maybe they will destroy one tower, but fine. This one seems a little bit stronger, but... It still has lots of towers, maybe let's upgrade them, it costs only gold. Which is limited on this map, but we still have a ton of it. This world will be Let's make sure every beholder is on uh, unholy regeneration place. Uh, there are some cave fishers, so let's one shot them. 3000 HP is usually a lot, but not for beholders, and I have only 11 of them here. 150 gems, that's decent. And we, here we finally ran out of resources. 100 gold, okay. Yeah, even if we run out of resources, we can still uh, get some more resources from those treasures. So that's really good. And I mean, I have 13,000, almost 14,000 gold. And I don't think that's something that uh, should not be enough. So. This is the entrance, uh, or exit, that uh, leads to this area. Of course, this is the one that the enemy is taking to attack us, and then this is the one that leads to our uh, our town. We are attacking again, nothing serious. Well, let's just make sure that we pick up the items here, as I said. I will need fresh graves. And... We should be fine. Uh, there is a small fiery room where there are some enemies, but there should be no problem for the holders. Let's just make sure we kill the 
ranged ones first. Ranged ones first. And then we can pick up some items here. Yeah, there's Orb of Fire and Bling Dust. And it's fairly close to this exit, so I can just go there with that Matriarch. That I have fairly close. But first let's pick up this item. And then she can go here, pick up this, and... Uh, there is one item there. And Ariel can just uh, maybe wait for her. That is the rest of the underground. I will also show it to you, but there is nothing important, I think. Doesn't really matter how long we wait, because the resources will run out anyways and we are not spending them, so it doesn't really matter. We can maybe queue up some more beholders. Maybe I could also let uh, my matriarchs die and the Avengers, because I won't use them in the fight anyway, but yeah, it's fine. Actually, I kind of want to use uh, my heroes in the attack, because they have really strong abilities and uh, I just don't want to use items like Orb of Fire and Extra Life and... I mean, I could make one Beholder super buffed. Uh, all of them are already level 5 and maximum upgraded, so I could just give him extra life, more HP and more damage, but... I feel like it's kind of a waste when you don't use those items on your heroes. Maybe there is one more item here, if I remember correctly. They attack us. Uh, and here we didn't take this item. And if this is something, if there is something here, then I will also go here. Yeah, there is a mana dust. And then there is the way around, because it's not connected here, so the enemy needs to go around. Uh, where is Vratimos? Yeah. I was not really fighting. Also, my Beholder is getting killed for no reason, but fine. The Matriarch died, but I still need one more population to be able to make another Beholder. Which is something I don't have, so... It will need to stay like this. Uh, Ariel can retreat. Yeah, maybe the Matriarch will just die somewhere here, and then I can get one more Beholder. Yeah, so we basically explored the whole map. Except this last part, and there are no more enemies because this is just the path that the enemy takes. So we can basically just go and clear the last part of the map that we didn't explore yet. Or I mean I could explore the rest of the underground, but that is just dark, you wouldn't see anything, and uh, here is only water and mountains, so also nothing to see there. So let's liter uh, return to our home. Through this, uh, through this exit, and then I will attack from here. Uh, and as you can see, we also ran out of trees completely, basically. And we have 12 idle, idle harvesters. Probably will need another incubator soon, somewhere around here, but it's fine. I actually don't even need to uh, defend this anymore, but it's just good to kill those eagles outside of my main town, so I will leave it like this. And we are still getting some gems, so definitely pretty useful. Even though here is 20,000 gems, so uh, this is the only only mine that you have that will never run out, basically, and that's the main gem mine. I shall not light is our enemy. So let's see how many beholders we actually have. They attack us. Actually, there is one thing we could do, and that's uh, get some snorkers and use Defile. That's really something that's really useful. But uh, I don't really have the population for it right now, so... Let's probably try to attack like this. And once something dies, I will try to retreat and bring some of those stalkers with me next time. Two more harvesters here, okay. And I will also use the aerial to bring my units across the bridge. Actually this area actually... 
Yeah, I know why it's uh, revealed because uh, I think deformer uh, deformer shows you the area uh, above and on the ground. And maybe same applies to Dark Fortress. There are some special effects for uh, for fall infection. I think it's only deformers, but maybe it's also the Dark Fortress. So, I saw an attack there, so I won't attack now. But maybe if I build some towers here, but I don't want to waste, uh, waste resources, so it's really hard to decide. Yeah, but we can probably wait for one more attack. Actually, one more beholder is being created. And now let's make five stalkers and then more beholders. I will damage me a little bit, but nothing too serious. We have only one Avenger and two heroes. Our only ground units. Those are all our only ground units. We are running out of trees once again, fine. And now let's bring the army to this exit. Hopefully nothing will pass through it before I get there. Even though it probably will. And Ariel was also enough to fit everything. There is an there is one crossbowman, okay, I don't care about him, he will just die to the few towers that I still have in my town. Okay, I don't care about the idle <laughs> harvesters anymore, actually I will just let them die probably somewhere to free up some population. Because that's the most important thing for us right now, okay. Now let's just fly like this because that is the place that the enemy units would attack from and now i should be safe so everything that's in the underground will attack me but nothing more should get passed through this and also as i said let's get some harvesters to maybe take some damage and mainly free up some population hopefully this tower will kill the crossbowman even though he will maybe destroy some buildings here but i'm making new towers so it should be fine we can also upgrade this and actually let's set the early point right here give up some more beholders we should be fine i don't know where the crossbowman is if he's stuck somewhere i will kill him in the end i know about him so it's fine uh, he's here okay the tower should be finished and then it should kill him okay that was an attack of knights they are killing the Avenger, let's bring him in the back a little bit. Actually they are ignoring me, white men are ignoring me, but fine. Uh, I will use items on my Vrati mod here. And I mean, let's just attack immediately. Uh, also, maybe let's make a save, <laughs> so we don't have to play the whole mission again. Even though I don't think we can really lose from this position. It's just always good to make it safe. Uh, let's maybe confuse some knights here. I always like to do that. And we have Miela available. And... Let's do Bratimos. Yeah, it's really good to summon those Shadow Knights because they are slowing enemies down. So that's really important. I have uh, the item to restore mana, but I will save it for later because he almost already has over half of his mana restored. And it would be more value on Nyla, but I just don't feel like her abilities are so potent. Yeah, you can definitely win this just with the holders. I just wanted to use those stalkers too. Make it a little bit easier, but uh, we didn't have them for the first push. Ah, but there is the, still the second part, which is the main part of the town that we need to push through. Or you could maybe also win this mission with Avengers, yeah. But uh, of course, if you have uh, Beholders unlocked for the first time, you probably want to make them because it's just so nice unit to make. Really satisfying. So. Let's do it like this. Some pikemen, they just died immediately, fine. 
OK, I take off Eagles, <laughs> we have Stalkers, so of course flying units die immediately. Uh, I mean, it uh, targets the file in a fair period of time that prevents ranged ground units, so it doesn't work on towers. That's a little bit unfortunate, but uh, I think it will be still quite useful. Let's summon those knights once again, and there are those stork stalkers right here. Yeah, so as you can see, they stop shooting, they need to move, I can summon another area, and then I will just kill them. Uh, okay, some knights, doesn't really matter, they are really coming from this, to those barracks, that I kinda ignored. Okay, let's move our stalker back. Okay, even though my only ground units are my heroes, they are still quite able to survive here. Okay, focus back. Maybe one more blind and I mean it should be fine at this point. Uh, we can maybe actually use the or I have the resurrection item but I probably can use the healing leave here. And we have some new Units coming, uh, some more crossbowmen, let's blind them just to make sure. Let's summon some new units. I don't know what he's doing, but fine. Okay, for some reason he's not summoning. He finally did, fine. And I think we need to destroy everything. That was a captain, uh, like a small hero, let's say, but he died immediately just like 4500 HP, I think, so nothing too difficult to defeat. Now we just need to check if there is anything more. I think there are some items that you can get near the cathedral. Uh, there's also a healing fountain. So, yeah, of course, let's get this. All will feel misery. And now we just need to clear the rest of the town. Uh, some more units are here, but realistically, who cares? Uh, some pikemen, so they don't even have crossbowmen anymore, probably. They will be actually able to hit me. And we can use free blast throws, so let's just buff our army a little bit. That will basically increase the damage of beholders by one, so that's not a huge amount, but uh, keep in mind that the beholder is making like 8 attacks at the same time or something, yeah, so. Uh, they are not dealing 15 damage, they are dealing like 80 or something, so uh, if you increase it by 1, it's actually like by 8 or 10. Uh, yeah, so we didn't win, obviously, because there are probably some of those units uh, somewhere in the underground or something. Or I left something in the town, but I don't see anything. Uh, there are more resources if I need it, but of course it's not really necessary right now. So let's just see what we can find. Yeah, those stalkers are also really good for uh, scouting because they are pretty fast. So another nice reason why to make them. That they are really quick. And I think if we just attack move our home. Uh, I mean in the underground. Oh, actually there is. There are some priests, so they will eventually come home, they will die there. Or I will catch up to them, but probably not. I cannot summon any units with any items now, so... We will need to wait a little bit. Yeah, but overall pretty easy mission. The only thing that you need to keep in mind is that you have limited amount of resources. Yeah, we have zero in those mines, so we are getting only like four gems from them. And uh, we have no more gold. So this is the only gem that uh, the, the only mine that you actually have, basically full uh, or just unlimited almost. But if you want more resources, you can get them only here and from treasures all over the map. So if you need more resources, uh, make sure that you cleared all the treasures and neutral enemies on the map. 
because, for example, the Wolves here actually gave pretty a huge amount of resources, and we even received like 10 gold here, 5 from each resource from here, uh, from blue spiders, and yeah, here were Wolves. So just all different types of small portions of resources that you can get, and overall it will add up to a pretty decent amount. Okay, I probably don't want to thank it with Avenger. Uh, those are the knights that I uh, that I confused in the beginning, and of course after they lost that confusion effect, they were no longer under the effect of attack moving my town, so they just stood there and waited. And some more priests should be somewhere around here on their way, so let's just walk to them. Actually, some more knights are here, okay. Also an option. Yeah, so those priests probably already attacked me with the rest of the pikemen, sort of what was that. Uh, so yeah, we completed, uh, completed the sixth mission. Let's check the results. Mm, nothing too interesting here again. Uh, this is actually quite nice. 772 kills. We didn't lose even 100 units and probably like half of those were summoned units from Vratimos. And the rest were uh, skeletons, so... <laughs> Uh, this is really good, and uh, experience ga gained also pretty nice, largest army. Those are really nice ratios, of course. Uh, then we have buildings, I produced uh, or constructed 70. Uh, I don't think I was making too many towers, but yeah, we made actually lots of them in the expansion to save us from those eagles. So that's why we have so many buildings. Because uh, in my main town, I don't think I overbuild it anything. Uh, and we have nine researches, which is exactly what we needed. We just fully upgraded our builders and maybe also those two upgrades for uh, stalkers. And that's exactly nine, of course, because we have three upgrades for armor and damage uh, for beholders, one upgrade for beholder speed, and then those two upgrades for stalkers for the defilability and also view range. Uh, and here we have resources, everything better than our enemy except wood harvested, which actually I don't know how he got so much wood. I also killed one of his peasants in the beginning, or not in the beginning, in the mid game, where I was flying there with my beholders exploring. But okay, he just has lots of wood. Actually, he's maybe getting wood from the uh, from the, his mine, yeah, because he's mining from resources, not from usual mine, so he has all kinds of resources from there. That's why he has so much wood, even though I had uh, lots of harvesters on wood. Uh, so yeah, this was the sixth mission, and uh, next time we will actually play the last mission of our Cadus campaign, but it will not be the last mission of the whole campaign, uh, Secrets of the Universe, because there is one, one bonus mission, actually. Uh, so two more videos will be uh, from this campaign. Uh, so yeah, take care guys.